Hi! So with less than two weeks to go until Christmas, we thought we'd share some festive tips with you. Are you feeling festive? Oh yeah, I'm feeling very festive. So we're going to share our tips with you and help you get in the festive spirit. Festive attire. You can't be festive unless you look festive. So why not pop out and buy yourself a Santa hat? Or maybe even a Christmas jumper? You actually are wearing a Christmas jumper. I know there was something weird about you. Yeah, it's good, is it? Snowman. Okay, yeah, sure, but after everything you've been saying about Christmas jumpers. I haven't said anything about you Christmas did. jumpers. You, you said that they were like a blight on the season, a fashion crisis. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I you love did. Christmas jumpers. You actually did, and then you went and rugby tackled the guy raising money for children in the street because he was wearing like a Christmas pudding jumper. In November. He was wearing a Christmas jumper in November. Who wears Christmas jumpers right, okay, in November? Okay, okay, November. But what about when you went to Primark and you started. No, 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 Jesus Christ. Gingerbread! Apparently gingerbread's a festive thing. I'm not really sure why it's so festive. I don't know, it's just one of those things. I eat it all happens. year round. Yeah. But you know, you can be festive by building a gingerbread house. Oh, no way. Yeah. Do you want as well? Yeah, we can do half each. Cool. So we've made our gingerbread houses and we're going to reveal them. Um, mm -hmm. I'm pretty happy with what I've done. You happy with what you've done? Yeah, things looking pretty good. So. Uh, yeah. I made a house with snow, I put some snow around it using some icing mm -hmm. and I coloured it in with some lighting like an outdoor house, pretty happy, it's a nice, happy, warm gingerbread house. Yeah, it's really pretty. What like do you make? Uh, I did more of a scene. Um, mine is sort of, like our, our gingerbread man has basically gone out and left his oven on and he's uh, he's set the place on fire unfortunately. There's, you, you can see sort of in the middle right here there's like a, a child inside with little eyes and a sad face and things so it's, that's the thing that's happening. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in a toaster and then I'll sort of make it look a bit more charred and burnt, give it a bit more of a, a realistic effect. You know, I think it'll look really good. You know, it's, it's a sort of good sort of scenario that's going on. <laughs> Are you gonna get that? No. You? No. Probably carol singers. Wait. Can you hear that? Yes. What are they doing? I, I don't know. It's like it's like they knew we were talking about them. We need to turn off all the lights. Don't move a muscle. Cinnamon. Cinnamon is a really festive spice. I quite like it a lot. You find it in everything around this time of year. You know, you got cinnamon lattes, cinnamon candles, cinnamon buns, cinnamon turkey. So I think that whenever you're cooking and making some decent food and drink, you can add a little, a little dash of cinnamon to anything just to make it that just that little bit more fest. What are you doing? Being festive. That's I don't. That's not a really good plan. I, don't, I think you're going to regret what I think you're going to do. Jesus Christ, Tom! No, don't do it. Oh my God, Tom! Oh! <laughs> Advent calendars. If you don't have an advent calendar, go and get one because there's nothing better than counting down to Christmas using a piece of cardboard and some chocolate. Yeah. Pretty good. Did you kill Harry Styles? Yes. Yes, I did. Christmas crafts like snowflakes. Sometimes you want to decorate the place, make it look a little bit more festive, but on a budget. So what you can do is just take some printer paper and fold it in half, cut out some really nice snowflakey shapes. When you unfold it, you get a really nice symmetrical design. Yeah, and if you want to make a smaller pocket-sized snowflake, why not take your favourite wintry quote from your favourite book mm -hmm. and cut it out into a snowflake, see? Yeah, it's really nice. Pretty good. Yeah. Wait, does that say The Hog's Made? Yes, Harry Potter is the perfect Christmas book. Why would you cut out your Harry Potter books? Why would I cut out? I didn't cut my Harry Potter books. I cut your Harry Potter books. I don't understand why would I cut my high parts of books like I'd cut my high parts of books. Uh, you find a place to hang myself? Whoa. Name your limb. <laughs> <laughs>